Blog Talk Radio. Good evening, all. You're listening to Miss Allgood, and this is Spirituality is Reality. I just want to say welcome back. For those of you, this is your first time hearing my voice. I want to welcome you as well. Uh, I've been here for quite some time doing a lot of talking, uh, a lot of talking that is not your con- conventional religious talk, uh, not going into do this and do that, don't do that, uh, not so traditional, just really getting back to basics, as I like to call it, getting back to the root of everything, which is the spirit. Uh, Friends, there's a lot that I have to say tonight. I don't even want to waste too much time. My computer froze, so please bear with me. Here we go. We're back up and running. There's so much that I have to say because tonight we are going to be discussing something that I usually don't talk about. And the reason why I didn't feel the need to talk about it was because I felt like there was so much involved in this topic of sex. Where would I even begin? Um, Of course, people don't talk about sex the way we talk about sex here at Spirituality is Reality because we're coming at it from a spiritual standpoint. Uh, Everything has to do with spirituality here, which has to really do with the human heart and mind. Friends, everything comes from the mind. I always say this. We as men are supposed to be thinking entities because if you were to look up uh, the uh, where the word man derives, the the uh, real meaning of the word man, it has to do with being the thinker. Man is also known as the homo sapien, which is uh, wisdom. Man is the wisest of all creatures because man is a thinker. Therefore, everything that is, everything that comes from man has to do with thought, and thought is of man himself. And there is a quote, as a man thinketh, so is he, friends, I'm telling you, that is the God honest truth. You are your thoughts, and if your thoughts are consumed with sex, that is in fact who you are. The reality of life is this. Man is a soul. Now, a lot of people don't like to use that word because they feel that it sounds too religious. There's a, a big discrepancy, a big misunderstanding about that which is religious and that which is spiritual, and I'm not going to go into that tonight. Some people uh, relate the two. They think they're synonymous. But I can tell you, living the life that I'm living, religion, it really is dogma. It really is do that. Um, Man is not clear. We are not clear this day and age about uh, what our purpose is, uh, who we really are, where we come from, where we're going. We are totally lost. And that is because we are detached from our roots which is that spirituality. Let's talk about sex because that is the topic at hand tonight, and it's not discussed in a philosophical way. And here at Spirituality is Reality, we do speak about sex in a philosophical or spiritual way. Now, of course, um, sex over the years has been used. Friends, it has been used as a tool. Uh, to control, to corrupt, to exploit. And, of course, we use sex to procreate, to make babies. Yes, that is the purpose of it, right? You would say that if you're a scientist or you're some kind of materialist, I'll say that. But there is so much more deep down, so much more to sex than this. When you just talk about sex just making babies, like sex is just something, uh, well, we're just going to procreate, um, We're going to use it to get what we want. We'll use it to make money, uh, just strictly for pleasure. Uh, This is sex on a barbaric level. This is sex on a level that is not spiritual. Because man, on that low level, is not spiritual. And he is living and functioning, functioning, excuse me, mentally on a savage level, or a level, rather, that is like an animal. Uh, For those of you who do not know what is meant by this word barbaric, um, I'm going to go into that because I've said this before, man uh, has two natures. Friends, we have a spiritual nature that is 
a high nature, that is of civility, that is of reverence, that is of dignity. And then we also have a lower nature, which is a nature that is like that of a beast or an animal. It is called a, a nature that is a barbaric, a nature that is savage, a nature that is murderous. Friends, this is really the truth of the matter. Man is functioning uh, as a dual being with two natures. But the reality of the situation is that uh, in this day and age, man has not developed his sense of spirituality. And because man has not developed his sense of spirituality, he is not functioning civil. He is not functioning on a higher level. He is not a thinking entity. He is not evolved. He is, in fact, uh, devolving, and he is, in fact, functioning on the level of an animal. And when I say animal, I don't even mean uh, like the cows and the birds and um, even the scorpion or something like that. Friends, I'm talking about lower than that. Wow. And the reason why is because man is meant to uh, do more than just feed himself, clothe himself, and provide shelter for himself. Friends, uh, that's just the basics of life. If that is all you're doing, then you're not living to your full potential. Man is called to live higher than that. Because the animals can do those things, friends. The animals can provide for themselves food and shelter. They do those things. Man is called to live on a higher level. And that higher level is of a spiritual nature. And at this uh, time, man is not living that way because he has not cultivated the spirit within his own soul. Friends, I've said this before, that you are a garden. Your soul is like a garden. If you do not tend to your garden, if you do not mind your own business, which means tending to yourself, you cannot develop your sense of spirituality. Your spirituality is, in fact, uh, your blossoming. It is your, it is your flowering. It is your uh, life, your vitality. It is the identity of who you are. It is your capital letter I. Friends, every single man that is walking refers to himself as I. But the reality is this. There is no I if there is no spirit, for the spirit is your I, and I really stands for identity. So man without the development of his higher nature or his spirituality is living in a barbaric, savage, animalistic, brute nature. And everything he does and everything that comes from him is savage and animalistic, and this includes sex. Functioning at this level is functioning in lust. It is functioning in desire. Because, friends, you have to think about it. There is nothing else. Man is empty in his soul. And when man is empty, he has a craving. And a craving is nothing but lust. And lust is desire. Really, the lust is for pleasure. When there is lust, we don't just refer to lust as being of a sexual nature. The lust is for pleasure. And whatever your fancy is, whatever it is that pleasures you, maybe it's drugs, maybe it's uh, the, the, the uh, desire to accumulate wealth and material items, whatever your lust is, that is what you use to pleasure you. And man looks for pleasure because... Once again, he has no spiritual self and he is empty. The nature of the soul is to cultivate the spiritual I, capital letter I, which stands for identity, which is the self. If man does not cultivate the higher self, which is his spirit, he automatically is living in the lower animalistic nature, which is savage, which is brute, and which is not civil. It is also a cruel nature. It is a heinous nature, and it is a dark nature that is murderous. Friends, the problem is man does not understand the difference between that which is good and that which is evil. And any time you're living your life for your flesh, to satisfy your carnal nature or your corporeal nature, which is your bodily nature, not your spiritual unseen nature, but just to satisfy the lust for pleasure, that is an animal nature. And this is the way we are functioning and we are using sex to fulfill this lust for pleasure. So this is the dark side of the human soul, and this is the state of man right now. Now, it's all over TV, it's in the music, it's on the Internet, it's in books, it's in magazines. Sex is everywhere in an unnatural way. There is not one place 
you can go to avoid this. You can't go anywhere because everywhere you turn, and I mean, this is it's out of control. It really is. I mean, it's to the point where we can't even protect our children from this. Our children are getting an unnatural um, understanding, and not even an understanding, but a, a, the way they see sex is strictly for pleasure. Uh, it's, it's, it's not in a way that is healthy for their souls. So we're living in this uncivilized nature. And this uncivilized nature is caused by man failing to cultivate his spirit within his empty soul. Friends, this comes from a lack of spirituality. When I talk about going back to basics, I'm talking about getting back to spirituality, for that is the cause of everything, the root of everything, the core of everything has a spiritual beginning because everything originates from that which is unseen and the spiritual is the unseen reality. Friends, spirituality is the unseen reality and is, it is the reason for everything. So there is this lack of spirituality which leads to bestiality or this animal nature that I keep. Now what I really want to emphasize is that it is the nature of, of the soul, friends, it is of human nature to be inclined toward some kind of savagery. It really is. It is the energy, the dark energy in the soul that is savagery, that is the power of the human spirit. For it is out of the dark nature or this destructive evil nature that is savagery, that is cruelty, that is bestiality, that power is developed because that power that is dark and destructive has to be transmuted, transmuted, hear what I'm saying tonight, into the same energy that develops your spiritual seed, which is your true self. Friends, the thing about spirituality is that it is remarkable, that it is something that is really, but at the same time, it's incredible. It really is because, and it's fascinating. It's fascinating to me because what is so interesting about the human being is that the human being is resilient. The human being has the ability within his own soul to regenerate, which also can be uh, said to be uh, creation and also to bear his own spiritual seed out of his dark, destructive nature. And so that's really what evolution is. Evolution has to do with totally being able to transform your inward nature. So in this case, the transformation would be from an animal nature to a civil, righteous, real human nature. So man is living like an animal. Because man has a lust for pleasure, and man has a lust for pleasure, like I said, because he is empty, he is, he is dark, and he is void of a sense of spiritual selfhood, which is his identity. So he uses, and we're talking about sex tonight, sex for pleasure, because he has this lust, this craving, this burning desire. Friends, desire is like a fire in your soul. It's called fire desire, and it's a burning and a craving. It has to be satisfied. This is why people feel so uh, inclined to have sex. Uh, some people are doing it just because they feel that's the only way to live. It's not necessarily their desire, but they don't know any other way to live. Then there are others that are just downright addicted. And this is because there has been no spiritual self that has been cultivated in the soul. So man becomes this fiend for pleasure. And this is a serious problem because using sex in a lustful way enslaves the soul to the desire. And the problem with pleasure is that it has an evil twin, and the twin's name is pain. Friends, where there is pleasure, pain is right. You're probably saying to yourselves, my goodness, Ms. Albert, how, how is sex painful? I mean, I'm getting something out of it. Where is the pain coming from? So you don't understand the essence of pleasure and you don't understand the essence of pain. One thing about me is that I speak on a philosophical level. 
So if you came here thinking I was going to say, you know, don't have sex, or wait until you get married, and it's like some kind of religious priest, then you really don't get me. There is no point whatsoever to telling people not to look at porn, stop going to strip clubs, stop being gay, it's the devil, because there really is no comprehension of the spiritual nature and the identity of the human being. You see, the problem is this. We as men do not know the true purpose of sex. And because this is not known, sex is debased. What I mean by debased is it means that sex has no value. Let me just go back to pleasure for a minute. Sex is used, friends. It is used to feel alive. It really is. Man wants to feel. You want to feel like you are alive. You want to feel like you are somebody. You want to feel a sense of worth. You want to feel love, whatever that is. You want to not feel absent, but feel like something is there. This is deep. Because pain is nothing but absence of this false sense of vitality which is pleasure. Pleasure is a false sense of existence. There is actually no such thing as pleasure. Because if you can understand that the human being is not his body, the human being is not his physical body. When you die, when you leave your body here to disintegrate and go back to dust from whence it came, how will you then pleasure yourself? Hear me tonight if you hear nothing else. Pleasure is mental. It is a delusion that there is a sense of something, someone being there. And without this feeling of pleasure, without being able to pleasure yourself, to use something, even if it's sex, drugs, or whatever you fancy, you want to feel like you exist. And you're only in pain because you feel empty, like you don't exist, like you're not there. Sex has no value because man himself has no value. You have no value. Now, what is value? Value, friends, is esteem. And to hold something in esteem is to put it on a pedestal. You honor it. You revere it. You love it. You cherish it. What we're talking about is a high level of respect. You see, man in this day has no esteem. I'm not talking about low self-esteem, friends. I said no self-esteem. Now, essentially what this means is today's women and men have no self-worth. Oh, I've said this before. We go back to this. We go back to self-worth. Oh, my goodness. Carla, I see you. Just hold, hold on a moment. They said that Sex means nothing. They call it casual sex. Nowadays, they call it consensual sex between two adults. It's called entertainment by way of porn and strippers, which, by the way, are prostitutes, friends. My dear friends, especially women, listen to what I'm saying tonight. A strip club is no different from a whorehouse or what a street walker is doing or some kind of call girl because all perform the same services. There's an exchange of sex for money. And it's going on in the whole entire entertainment industry, including music, acting, all of them. They're all exchanging sex for money because we have no value for sex, because we have no value for ourselves. We are in an, in an era where sex sells because there's a price on it. And I said this before, when any time there's a price on something, that means it really has no value because money does not add value. It actually takes it away. So there is no worth. Because that which you cannot buy, cannot sell, cannot put a price on, is priceless. And holds all value. Oh, my goodness, friends. Let me say this tonight because I have such a short amount of time. Women, oh, my goodness. There's a problem here, women. There's a problem with sex. You see, We've been told that men are the problem because it has been said that this is a man's world. 
But when it comes to sex, somehow that that uh, that reverses. Hear me out, because it is the woman who leads the man to a life of pain or a life of peace and sanctity. And this is so because nature, nature, not this all good personally, dictated that the woman is the mother. She is the one that bears the child, and it is the mother that guides and protects. Therefore, listen to me now, motherhood does not mean having babies. Hear me out. Motherhood is an unseen spiritual quality just as fatherhood is. We all have accepted that there are some men that are fathers and others that aren't. But let's accept this for motherhood. It is solely up to a woman to give herself this quality of motherhood. The world cannot give it. A woman has to give it to herself. It is also a quality of leadership and guidance. And a woman takes this with her through her whole life. Friends, it is a woman, a woman that has to gain a sense of spirituality so that she can then lead the man to his spiritual self. Because in reality, the woman and the man are one spirit. This is how everything exists, friends. Everything exists, dual in nature, yet a unity and a whole. The man and the woman are whole. Yes, they are polarities at the same time. Friends, I'm, I'm, I have a call that's been on hold for a while, and I am interested in hearing what this call has to say. So, I, I you know, hello, caller? Paul, are you there? What did I just do? Did I just disconnect you? I think I disconnected you. Call it. Try to call back, please. Not sure what happened with that. So back to what we were saying. We're looking at the woman, and a lot of people have had something to say, especially women, to me about this, because they're saying, Ms. Alder, you know, are you blaming women for uh, the responsibility that is solely placed upon a man? Are you blaming women? First of all, I want to say that everyone is equally responsible for their own lives and the choices that they make in their lives. But I do want to say that we also have a collective responsibility for our fellow men and we are our brother's keepers, and we can lead someone astray. We can do that. As it is human nature, we can lead someone astray. And I also want to emphasize the fact that we as human beings are all one universal. We are universality. My thoughts are not just my thoughts. They are your thoughts and his thoughts and her thoughts. This is how things really exist, but we are ignorant of this. Friends, we are ignorant of how we exist. We do not understand our spiritual nature, and because of this, nothing has any value anymore, especially sex. Women and men have reduced themselves, especially women to whores, to prostitutes, and even skanks. Women, you are using sex to arouse this animal nature that is in all men, and this animal nature is desire. You are using your bodies. You are not cultivating your minds. The problem is that women do not understand the needs of a man, and men do not understand the needs of a woman. We need each other, friends. It's not money. It's not being able to provide men. That's not what it is. That's tertiary. I'm not even going to say secondary. Tertiary. Because, once again, that's, that's, that's on the basic level. We as men are spiritual beings, and we are called to live on a higher level. Therefore, everything that we do, all of our action is on a higher level, and this includes sex. So sex is more than just making babies. Sex is really pleasure. If sex is being used for pleasure, I just told you, that is to fulfill the lust of the soul, which is that fire desire. So women arouse this sexual nature in men, and they use their bodies to do it. Friends, they've been doing this for centuries, uh, millennia, not even, forever. This is something that is known. This is something that is a fact. Uh, men have said this. This has been written about. 
This has been documented in psychology, philosophy, uh, religious text. This isn't even going to be debated. It is what it is. The problem is that women refuse to accept responsibility for what they're doing, for what they're doing. And it is because women are not developing their spiritual self, which is their mind. Women, we have got to do this. This is necessary for the whole of humanity because what we don't understand is the need of a man is the spirit. When a woman develops her spirituality, which is her mind, the man then is called to a higher level. He is no longer called to live according to his lower nature, but he now is called to live according to the spirit just as the woman. Caller? I'm not hearing anything. I'm not sure why I don't hear you at all. Okay, could be a problem with the website tonight, but I, I'm i not hearing anything. I see that you're calling, but I'm not hearing anything. Um, you can still contact me. You can still contact me. You can find my email. You can contact me on the website uh, right here at blogtalkradio.com. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear your questions. Um, I, I don't know what's going on with this. Sometimes there's problems with this website. So, I mean, this is a this is a very broad um, discussion that we're having tonight. And, and there will be another part to this because there is so much more that I have to say about this. Um, this is serious. This is serious. And something is a problem only when it serves no real purpose and has no real value. And what I've said tonight is that sex has lost its value. Uh, sex has been reduced to savagery. It is uh, exploitive in nature. Uh, all it is is erotic desire and sensual pleasure. And there certainly is a great power that is connected to the man and the woman and to sex, and that power is a spiritual power. Uh, friends, for those of you that are interested in esoteric uh, wisdom, interested in philosophy, you know what I'm talking about tonight. There is a real power that emanates, that is exuded from the man and the woman in sex, and it has nothing to do with pleasure. We have gotten so far away from that because we have no sense of spiritual selfhood. And I said before, the spiritual self must be cultivated. Without the spiritual self, there can be no knowledge of the real purpose for living. Friends, there is a reason for everything. There were a lot of points that I wanted to touch on tonight, and I hope I was able to get to all of them as uh, time is really up tonight. Well, I apologize again. I don't know what went on tonight uh, with this uh, switchboard, but I could not hear anything. It was just like it was showing that you were calling, but it was mute on this end. So I encourage you to please contact me directly or call back next time. I thank you all for listening, and until next time, I love you all. Please be blessed.